The U.S. has more tornadoes than anywhere else in the world. 1,200 tornadoes occur here annually. While our knowledge of tornadoes has improved significantly, there's still a lot of research to be done about how these destructive, deadly storms actually form. Tornadoes tend to occur on warm, humid days where strong thunderstorms are present. Tornadoes form in storms where the air is rising very quickly. If the conditions are right, the air will begin to rotate as it rises, at which point the storm could form a funnel cloud or a tornado. We look for certain signatures on radar imagery to determine if tornadoes are present. When the rotation strengthens, an area called an inflow notch develops. The inflow notch is where the warm, moist air feeds into the storm. In a strong thunderstorm, fast rising air or updraft is accompanied by fast sinking air or downdraft. Heavy rain and potentially a tornado could be present in the downdrafts. On reflective radar imagery, downdrafts often appear as an appendage of the thunderstorm. The inflow notch from the updraft and the appendage of the downdraft create what we call a hook echo. However, a thunderstorm does not have to look like this to produce a tornado. Tornadoes can form wherever there is strong rising motion, like in bow echoes, lines, or hurricanes. We can see the possibility of a tornado, no matter what kind of storm it is, through radar velocity data. This data tells us which way the winds are blowing in the storm. Winds blowing toward the radar appear green. Winds blowing away from the radar appear red. Places where green meets red suggest a tornado, or the precursors of a tornado, could be present. Tornadoes can occur in any season and at any time. It's important to be aware of your local weather advisories. A tornado watch is issued when conditions are favorable for tornadoes. A tornado warning is issued when a tornado has been sighted by spotters or indicated on radar and is occurring or imminent in the warning area. If you see any of these indicators, stay alert and always pay attention to watches and warnings issued by your National Weather Service office.